this offline completely. Shit. <clears throat> it's okay, just throw it back up. No, go ahead and hit it up, yeah. Let's let, let us know when we're live. Probably just go straight to gameplay if you can. Alright, hello everyone. Apologies for that brief tech issue there. We are in the third quarter, by the by. I just had to quickly restart the stream there, so... This is, in fact, the third quarter, not second quarter, but uh, we will be back and underway. As you see, some movements made on both sides, a few scores in quick succession uh, from either side, but it's resulted in just a four-point game, so new half, new teams, perhaps, as Mulberry Reverb uh, attempt to get back in the mix here and doing a pretty good job of it thus far. Uh, pass to Billy. Billy has that angle. Will he make it? No, couldn't capitalize quite, and it's back to the trap there where it's collected by Snipe. If only for a second, though, with some stuns. Now, Billy over to Shepard. Shepard gets it to go. It's a two-point game, Queen, and here you go. Second half, it's a new beast uh, in the reverb. It is, and a great job there by Mulberry Reverb, collecting the disc even after a little bit of a turnover and some stuns coming in from Vancouver Lightning, able to get a hand back on it and not rushing the passes to cause any more uh, loose discs, but capitalizing on the moment and the look that they had at goal. Ooh, and just another kind of unforced one at that point. So definitely feel that momentum shift, a little bit of that steam being lost from the Lightning uh, trying to regather the disc, and they do. I'll do in with a pass, another soft one to Na. Oh, and that's gonna be guaranteed. An open goal there by Mulberry Reverb. I'm not quite sure what happened. They did have a player in the bubble who began to float away from the goal as the other team was approaching. Um, maybe a little bit of miscommunication there, but definitely uh, not what they needed as now they are five points behind and still have not taken the lead yet in this game. Yeah, it could be a costly, a costly open goal to concede. Those open threes always hurt you a little, little extra uh, compared to any other kind of goal. But that said, showing the uh, the good focus here and decision making up the floor, uh, very efficiently. In fact, they got the numbers and they got the goal right back to a three point game uh, for them. And Mulberry Reaver, they're not going away. They are not, and a great job. At, well, they may have had a miscommunication there in the last rollout, possibly, um, or in the last play. They There, they had a great one as the stun came in from a teammate, allowing Snipe to have an open lane with no goalie there. Very, very nicely done from Mulberry Reaver. And a nice interception there right in the tunnel. Snipe with a bounce shot from the bottom. Ooh. Bottoms up. Fills it for a three-point, 37-meter goal off the floor. That is what they needed, and for the first time in this game, I believe it is a tie score on the board. When you're feeling it, you're feeling it. That, uh, Of course, the, the more common bounce shot known on the ceiling, the boop shot, uh, the floor shot there, a little bit more difficult usually, uh, people regard it as, and that was just a great hit. What a, what a way to tie it up, and that is some serious momentum. And they've got the disc again here. This is uh, really a, a stark contrast. It's a new team we're seeing in the reverb as they rebound uh, into what is a tie and maybe even a lead if they can get that disc. Although they just uh, are unable to read that and got kind of broken up by the Geos. And it will, as a result, go back to Alduin. Uh, for how long? That's the question. Because we're seeing a lot of these clears, these passes, and... and uh, so on for the lightning not quite connecting uh, but that said all they need is one to calm it down but no oh my goodness just really not getting a that that rhythm here in this half yeah definitely seeing a a shift there from vancouver lightning i don't know what maybe have uh what maybe happened maybe just a mentality thing um because these are some skilled players in the arena, but making silly, easy mistakes that you would not expect them to. Yeah, uh, we see one kind of right there, just like a missed pass on a soft one, but they do eventually get it back again. There you go. That's the way to do it, and I'll do it, says I'll do it. To assist Na there on the goal. Perfect way to calm it down. Uh, just get, get those great passes where you don't even have to think about it too much. You're right in front of the goal, and that's all but a guarantee, as long as the pass connects, and it did. Absolutely. A fantastic there by Vancouver Lightning. Um, kind of 
kind of looks like they maybe got their head back in the in the game as they began to push bubble that way. Not too many forced uh, Hail Mary plays or rushed passing or anything like that. <laughs> oh, Jeez. and the dinged three from Nah, but able to recover the disc is Newt over to Alduin. Alduin into the goal for two points. There you go. See the three uh, that, that, that cutting play they made last time calmed them down after all that disarray. Uh, only took 17 seconds this time to get that disc back and, and score again. We're back up by four as we approach the end here of the third round, that is. Third quarter. So uh, we'll be sniped now, launching, and one more opportunity for a goal. Perhaps they can bring it within two or one points here, depending on how bold they get. That said, the goal is open. They've got a player down at the boot, uh, really, really just waiting for that disc to be collected. Ooh. Had the opportunities, opportunities missed, and the disc back into the midfield to end the third quarter. Four-point game, so fighting back are the reverb, and we'll be right back uh, after a quick word from our sponsors. If you really want to find out what you're made of, you can forget the personality tests and social media quizzes, because the only way you're ever going to know is by heading into the big, wild, raging, so damn beautiful it hurts world and finding out for yourself. Were you born to follow a path? Were you born free? These are the things we thought about when we made the new Grand Cherokee. Made for what you're made of. We are back. Letting you know that for those of you who are looking to claim this week's PO app, head on over to www.nepavrpro.com forward slash NFT to fill out the PO app claim form. In order to complete the form, you're going to need the secret password. It is on the screen in front of you, but in case you don't see it, it is NEPA week two. NEPA is all capital N-E-P-A week two. The deadline to submit your claim form is 9 p.m. Eastern Standard on Sunday, June 19th. So go ahead and submit your claim form. That way you can win prizes. And with that, we are straight back into the game and over to you, Pally. All right, well, that was the PO app. Now we're back to the pros at play, or at least these uh, AAA teams who are right on the edge. They are shown their absolute tenacity here in this game, especially for the reverb to not be too discouraged by some of the, the rough goings in the early half. Uh, but now they can Ooh. cut this lead down again, but unable to find the mark. Uh, lightning here hanging on. They have definitely been striking like lightning quite a bit from uh, those shots and the threes, especially the first half, and now just trying to find that, that calmness once again if they can and get those uh, those easy plays, those open threes, those nice passes, and they're going to, nope, get stunned, in fact, as it's taken back, though, by Baron. And Baron, left lane, that's a good clear uh, right into the tunnel. Picked up nice. by Snipe. Snipe on the wall. Now over to Billyisms. Billyisms. Approaching bubble, but back passes over to Baron. Baron up high to Shepard on the clock. Ooh, and a big stop there by Alduin and cleared out, but into the hands of Baron again. Baron looking for the goal and just <laughs> off the post, unfortunately. But Snipe in the area, able to recover the disc, sending a pass down low to Billyisms. Billyisms to Shepard Beautiful. for the quick tap in for two points. Man, I know they wanted that three, and that was a, a needle I had to thread to even find that angle before the defense got back, but. Uh, that was still just as, if not even more beautiful. Billy, right as he got stunned, just tapping it over gently uh, on an assist. Love to see it. Two-point game again. This can go either way in these final six minutes. And as I say that, we'll go all the way down to the bubble. This is a opportunity for a two-on-one potentially, but unable to find the angle of that time around. We saw Newt making a shot, a three-point shot, in fact, from kind of an awkward angle like that earlier on. This is going to turn over now into a three-point shot. Ooh. That is on from Snipe, right in the comfort zone, deep range. And that is the first time in this game that Mulberry Reverb is uh, taking the lead. It is only by one point, so they cannot let up on the pressure. There is still six minutes left in this quarter, but it is the last quarter and a big upset for Mulberry Reverb. And Justifer pointing out uh, one of those situations where that first of 40 uh, ideal can be put to the test here. It, it, because not all that often necessarily you see two teams reaching this type of scoring mark. But right here, we're on the marks. Get set and go. No goal. Only five and a half minutes Ooh. left. And really neck and neck. 
As Na checks for a pass, Alduin receives. Alduin with a bouncer, very nicely done. Triangle and rooting itself right back to Na in the back line. Uh, kind of aware, perhaps, of the last shot, a little bit lower percentage in comparison. Now they're just trying to space properly and find some open, easy opportunities, but no. But yes, it's Boosty Boy. What a save, but a grab right back, and that open goal puts them up. Yeah, what a huge save from Snipe, but not able to get rid of the disc fast enough, giving Boosty Boy an opportunity to steal the disc and put it in the goal for two points. Now we do have Vancouver Lightning up again by one, but still five minutes, just shy of five minutes left on the clock. Yeah, this is so close, this race. Uh, getting that disc back and a chance for another lead to take back. It's Shepard. Shepard opting for a back pass. Snipe taking that and sending it. A tough one. Wow. Ooh. Wow. That was a difficult pass to make with that kind of precision, bouncing it as Snipe fade away, and Shepard with an equally uh, difficult angle to avoid the goalkeepers hitting that bottom post of the goal. Impressive. That was so beautifully done, and what a pass there. Mulberry Reverb definitely starting to click here as a team. Absolutely, that was stellar. Right back at them, though, seeing if they can uh, maybe get the defense off guard a little bit. Nah has that back line pass and here we go we saw it last time work out for them at the end of the day a shot on the way but no way it's gonna be another save coming out and to see if the results this time can be different uh for the reverb they can get a clear uh, they're not able to do so but they will have to scramble back into the goal oh the grab! what my goodness that happened but nah grabs it back and they've got to find the focus they've got to find the points and they do oh. right down the center mass and what great communication there coming in from Vancouver Lightning with the stun on goalie just in time as Newt gets the shot off. Fantastic job, but this is still only a one-point game with three minutes left on the clock. This is anyone's game. Absolutely. Uh, the, the Lightning here at the, at the most, leading by 10 or 12 points or so in that first half, but it's been a close, close third oh. and fourth quarter. That shot closely grazing by the metal edge of that barrier and now on the way uh with a rebound i'll do in i'll do in down below heard the comms potentially but we'll be uh, taken back by newt newt has to get rid of it not has to get rid of it not has to make it and they're the first of 40 that might mean something might not but that does mean they're up by three that does indeed, but that does not put Mulberry Reverb out. There is more than enough time on the clock. This is only a one score game if they can get the three in here. Mulberry Reverb with the joust advantage. All right, so over to Billy as I'm snowing that they're in a situation where they don't need threes yet, of course, but they do need to react. They don't want to give up any kind of buffer here to the Lightning. So they're going to send it waywards. Just a self pass potentially. Shepard now slapping it back. A uh, snipe from the bow tie. Seeing if they can maybe bring it within one or tie. Ooh. Either or. Billyisms. Disc goes by and over on the sideways. The shoulder, but no pass available. Miscommunication, perhaps. And that will be right down the mid location as they grab the disc. Nah, grabbing that. Trying to maybe fight with Snipe, but a little bit too bold, too late in this game. It will be a turnover that's going to bounce high. This could be an open goal again, but no. That takes an awkward bouncer off of that Geo. Over to Shepard. Shepard now on the approach. Finds a pass to Billy. Billy from that sideline, from the Ghost. And Snipe now with maybe a shell of a shot, but no. Unable to hit it. That could have been a great uh, hit to equalize things. But instead... It's going to be Nah with a disc, and they've got their eyes set on potentially a victory. If they can score a goal here, two or three, it would be some beautiful buffer. There it is. No, there it goes. Too much sauce, but a rebound collected up high. Newt's Newt's waving the wand, but getting waved off by Baron. That could be a crucial turnover cause. Only a minute left. Another stun. Baron deep down the floor, but bounces again awkwardly. And all over the place is this disc everywhere but the goal until maybe right about now. It's going to be collected now. Less than a minute left. And I can't even take a breath here because the action is so fast. <laughs> Breathe. Wow.
Okay. We've got well, new. Oh, looking for the pass up high to clock, but it does take a bounce now. Stuck in the trap area with players in the zone. Newt getting stunned out after he gets a hand on it, but over to Alduin. Alduin to Boosty Boy. Boosty Boy driving goal and makes it for two points. Wow. And with only. Uh, well, not even 30 seconds remaining. That will be the shot that seals it for them, it looks like. And two minutes off of that last joust before we finally got a goal. So many opportunities there for a reverb, but in, in those deep uh, fourth quarter situations, close game, you could see it on, on everyone's body language and then the play. It got hectic. It got antsy. And everyone was really just trying to, uh, to, to, to find that, that last clutch play. And it finally came there for the Lightning, where they scored and secured that for the uh, five-point win. But what a match that was. Absolutely. An incredibly well-played match by both teams, obviously turning out in favor for Vancouver Lightning. But kudos over to Mulberry Reverb, playing until the buzzer, never losing mentality. You could tell by their play style, even with a little bit of chaos, that they were not down and out for, uh, for very long mentally, definitely getting themselves back uh, into the zone, so to speak. Um, so fantastic job by both teams there. Yeah, uh, can't can't put it any better. Just just fantastic. You know, they had the run, early runs in that first half from the Lightning, but uh, Reverb stuck with it. They they came so close into making a, a great comeback in that second half. They tied the game up, in fact, and they were exchanging goals and leads for a little bit. Uh, one one or two point leads. I mean, that's how close it was that whole fourth quarter between these two teams, pretty much. Uh, right until that that uh, shot that got them the five point advantage at the end for Lightning. But hats off. That's that's a heck of a way to start uh, AAA here tonight. It is a fantastic match indeed. Palador, you know what time it is? Don't tell me 7.20. Uh, it's, it's quite literally 4.20 my time, but aside of that, what time is okay. it? It is time to name the player of the match brought to you by Holtz Hour Auto and Motorsports. We were not talking about 420 or 720, but who's mountain, your, who's mountain your, time. Who's your, who's your pick? Hmm. Well, you got to give it. Uh, I mean, it's ultimately to the winning team because I, I, I want to shout out Snipe for a seller game on the other side, of course, for Reverb, but for uh, Lightning here, victorious in their efforts. Oh, that's a toughie. Uh, I would, I would say probably, probably not. Nah, but I mean, barely over Newt, just in the sense that they both got 13 points. Uh, not put up five assists. Newt with four. I mean, one, 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 uh, a single digit difference in in uh, assists, a single digit difference in saves. So it's kind of a, a tough choice. But uh, yeah, I'll go, I'll go with Nah. But Newt easily, it's like one A, one B basically. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're gonna have to deal with that. That's my indecisive MVP. <laughs> um, well, I am agreeing with you on Na, and Newt is like a close, close second there, but solely for the fact that Na going with the five assists, Newt only having the four, um, Na contributing two more goals, um, at least on the scoreboard. That does not mean that Newt did not contribute to those, whether it be a steal or a turnover, great clear. Um, but from the scoreboard, I'm gonna go ahead and say Na, especially with those nasty threes, from the get-go of the match, putting uh, Vancouver Lightning up by six when when we had that first start in the first quarter. So, nah, congratulations. You are our player of this match. Congratulations to Vancouver Lightning for taking this one here. We're going to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere because we are going to be right back with one more AAA game for tonight and then move over into pro games.
Good evening. We are back here on the NEPA TV with one more AAA game for you tonight. And then we will move over to the Pro Series matches. With me tonight in the booth still is the one and only Palador. How are you, Pally? Oh, still pretty good. Thanks. Uh, so with that, still good. Great... I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, we, we, we started off with such a great game. Uh, these these two teams hope they live up to that because man we we've seen some incredible action that last one came right down to the last minute of the fourth quarter and that's when you know uh, that this game and competition's at its best right when you get those uh, full so 32 good. minutes of just you know when it all comes down to the last minute it's perfection so I'm excited for this one just the same yeah absolutely I am too I'm super stoked uh, considering the players that we have in the arena it's, it should be. Kind of the same deal that we saw last match. Yeah. Well, yeah, absolutely. Uh, these two teams and you know, the, the Dragons over on uh, Orange here with uh, running the roster Geo, uh, Baby True, Tasuna, Connor, CC, Sprocky. Uh, great to see all these players back back in the mix here. Just cast them uh, not too long ago as well, I do believe. And uh, coming up against, let's see, the uh, New Haven uh, Ninjas here. And that's going to be. A stellar one also, I think. In fact, looking at this team, also uh, a team I'm familiar with, less on the casting, or less on the uh, casting end, but more so on the playing end. Uh, they actually gave us some uh, some uh, warm-ups the other day and some scrims the other day. So, <laughs> uh, very familiar with these squads, all the same. So, glad to be here on the casting end of things now to see what they can uh, do for us. Yeah, absolutely. And with that being said, before we get started, we want to go ahead and let y'all know that every commercial that we are broadcasting um, during the AAA and the Pro Series will have NEPA-themed Easter eggs. Some are obvious and some are really hidden. You're going to have to put your thinking cap on and take a look at the commercial, think about what it is. But everyone who can name the commercial and what the Easter egg is um, potentially has a chance to win a $200 $250 gift basket plus $100 cash and more. This is how you can enter to win. Watch the matches. Write down the Easter egg and the commercial. Save them up for later when we open up the competition and you can enter yourself in for a chance to win that gift basket. Super exciting stuff. And with that, Pally, uh, uh, what are you thinking about this match here? What's, what's, your, uh, what's, your, what's your best guesstimate considering the players in the arena? For the sake of diplomacy, I almost never answer that. <laughs> also, for, this, for the sake of my cred, see, look, if anyone who knows me knows, I'm either right on my calls or I caster's curse everything. Basically, I cover all my bases. So, so what really, I expect... So it's really a 50-50 split. <laughs> yeah, 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 pr pretty much. Happy I don't know. Happy mediums. Uh, happy mediums. Happy mediums. Because, again, I, I've... Only a couple days ago, uh, just played against uh, the uh, ninjas here, and... You know, they were uh, impressive there in the, on the scrim side of things. But again, as anyone knows, like, uh, you know, teams on, on paper and especially at the, the high levels and, and such, whether it's in VRML or it's in NEPA and between AAA and, and Pro Series, uh, matchups, and especially I think in Pro Series and, and AAA, in fact, in comparison, uh, because of the draft style uh, format mm -hmm. that we have here, it, it's... It means that there's less, um, you know, the super teams are split up in a sense, and it's more yep. like th there's not as much disparity team to team, at least in theory. Uh, so a lot of it just comes down to chemistry and matchups more so than who, you know, constructed uh, their freely their, yeah, their their dream roster of friends or, or otherwise. No, like this is this is draft style. So if you can play, yep. if you're a pro, approaching there, uh, you're going to be drafted uh, onto a team of many. Uh, all at the very high level of Echo Arena. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we are right into the game here. Oh, a big steal coming in from Breezebo. Breezebo clearing, at, clearing it out through, almost through tunnel, but not quite making it. But that's all right, because their teammate Canada is there. Oh, but the stuff coming in from Connor. Connor juking around on pack, sending a high pass over to their teammate Robbins, but it does not quite connect. Unfortunately, picked up and recovered by Baby True, sending a back pass over to Geo on the back line. Geo on station now, looking to give their team time and space to set up in the bubble, slowing down a bit, playing this patience game, controlling the disc, and that's what this game is about. Oh, and the shot from Geo after such patience gets two points on the board for the Frisco Dragons. 
Yeah, nicely done. Now the defense was doing a pretty good job for a lot of that play, kind of ping-ponging between lanes and trying to cover passes, but ultimately just too good of execution there. We'll get them the first couple, like what I saw there. Absolutely. With the disc now is Superfly. Superfly juking around that defender. They are sending a pass over to Canada, but Canada was covered. Geo getting a hand on the disc, looking for the clear, but not able to get too much control on the disc. Now in the hands of Baby True, and Baby True does not miss those, putting three points on the board. Wow. The, the margins to make that shot occur, not very, not very wide, but got it just in time. See a goalkeeper there. Canada, I believe, just kind of stuck in no man's land, unable to really grab an anchor and get in the position for the save. So good recognition to shoot and make that shot. Absolutely could not agree more. Canada now with the disc looking to send a pass over to Superfly. Superfly having some time and some space. Again, this patient play coming forward from these two teams. Great job. At pass over to J-Fran. J-Fran losing a hand on the disc there, though. Robin's able to recover it, sending a clear all the way down through the mid of the arena and into the bubble. But the stacks from New Haven Ninjas there first looking for the clear, but off their own post. Now in the hands of Connor on the post. Hitting the goal post again, but Robin's able to recover it, sending it over to Geo on the back line. Geo in the high trap, getting some pressure by Superfly. Superfly way out of bubble there. Robin's getting their hand on the disc, sending a pass, but bouncing around in the uh, trench area. Geo now with the disc, passes over to Connor High, just on the fringe of bubble. Connor sending it down low to Geo. Geo going in for the goal, but Canada with a save and the clear through the tunnel and over into the Frisco Dragon zone. A little bit of a stack race, but Robin's able to get a hand on it first, going to clear it into the hands of Canada, though. Canada looking around for their teammate, Superfly, driving goal, looking for the cut, but J. Fran not ready for it, unfortunately. Possibly a little bit of a miscommunication. Breezebo able to recover the disc, looking for their teammate, Superfly, but Superfly not able to get that pass there. But the quick stacks from Canada and J. Fran able to pick up the disc, going for the clear, but bouncing around in their own track unfortunately picked up by Robbins going for the long three but just off the top post there picked up by Breezebo Breezebo getting his pocket picked though now Superfly with the disc on the wall doing a little bit of juking around before sending the disc through tunnel and all the way into the New Haven Ninjas bubble with Jay Fran in the area and into the goal for two points Wow, that was a blitz of plays on either end of the floor. A couple good looks and some saucy shots just dinging on one end and zooming back to the other end. Ultimately, though, the open goal, as is usually the case, when it gets chaotic and so fast-paced like that, a lot of the time the next goal will be one of those deep clears and uh, an open one on the other end. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. And that's that's that that's that's sometimes those those little plays that you need there. Oh, as we're saying that in open three from Breeze Bow, three more points on the board for New Haven Ninjas tying this up five five with three minutes and 56 seconds left on the clock in this first quarter. And talk about other trends that happen fairly often. Uh, just like that, you get a lot of back and forth where no one can score, but then you finally get that first one and then boom. Next score happens within seconds, effectively. Absolutely. And another open goal here, but a double ding. You <laughs> hate to hear that noise. The double ding coming in from the side of Frisco Dragons. Now with the disc is Breezebo. Breezebo clearing it high, but no stacks in the area. Ooh, just kidding. Superfly there. Another ding, y'all. Best goalie NA is the goalpost itself. A big stun there by Breezebo. Getting the disc off of Robbins. A little bit of chaos, though. Now the disc is in the hands of Connor. Connor clearing it down into the bubble. Um, no stacks present, but now they are. New Haven Ninjas able to get back to bubble with the disc. Now as Robbins looking for their teammate in bubble, but the cut does not connect, unfortunately. Geo is able to recover on the back line, sending a pass over to Baby True on the wall. Baby True looking to take their time, sends a pass back over to Geo on the diamond. Geo on shield, juking around, going for the, ooh, going for the shot, but it is stopped by New Haven Ninjas, stolen back by Geo and putting the goal for two points for Frisco Dragons. Oh, Canada. A song and the goalkeeper, just uh, absolutely his anthem. He is so good in the goal, but unfortunately people on offense have gotten so good at picking those discs up right after the save that if it's not ejected immediately, you get results like that. Absolutely. 
it happens often. Oh, and a scuffed roll out there. A great read by the Frisco Dragons. A clear into the bubble now in the hands of Robbins. Robbins passing over to Baby True on the floor. Baby True looking for Robbins on the goal post and the slam dunk for two more points for the Frisco Dragons. And Robbins showing some great uh, offense there. The full wingspan extension. Look at that. Got got more than halfway through the upper side of the goal, stunking in from the bottom, it looked like. So uh, some long arms. And Robbins, a name that really, um, to me, uh, became notable, it, uh, especially in the, the finals uh, and the end of the season of VRML, just putting together some stellar plays. A, a lot of steals, as I recall, because of the whole robbing and, and Robbins connection there. A great player. Look at you and your little word association brain. You're, you're so good. We do have Connor with the disc now looking for their teammate Geo in the tunnel. Geo clearing it out. Maybe a little bit of a miscommunication as the stacks did uh, take a wild turn there. Now the disc is in the hands of J Fran. J Fran over to Superfly. Superfly clearing it out. We don't quite have stacks in the area just yet, but Connor as a free floater picks up the disc, clears it down into the New Haven Ninja zone. But J Fran is there able to recover the disc sending it over to Superfly. Superfly getting a little pressure there, so sends a pass over to Jay Fran again. Jay Fran in the tunnel, leaving tunnel now, sending a pass down low over to Superfly. Superfly on the floor, approaching fringe of bubble, but gets pressure there by Geo on the, in front of him, sends a back pass over to Canada. Canada with someone on his tail, sends a pass over to Jay Fran. Jay Fran looking backwards again for Superfly. Great disc control here coming in from the New Haven Ninjas. Oh, and the big interception there from Frisco Dragons. Disc is loose in the trench area, picked up by Geo, cleared out through the top mid of the arena. But the New Haven stack, uh, New Haven Ninjas stack there faster than the Frisco Dragons could get together. Free floating now on their side, but slapped out by Robbins over to Geo. Geo looking for possibly a floor shot, but taking a bad bounce there. Now picked up by Jay Fran, doing a little ducking to get around their opponent, but not successfully as Connor picks up the disc over to Robbins on the ceiling. Robbins looking around, just looking away some time. Maybe Baby True going for the shot, but Superfly says not today. And that is the end of this quarter. We will be right back after a quick word from our sponsors. I told y'all it was going to be quick. We are back and we want to let you know that all season long, NEPA will be issuing POAPs to anyone who shows up to the live broadcasts and fills out the claim form with the secret password. The form can be found at www.nepavrpro.com forward slash NFT. Each week, we're going to be highlighting different uh, different franchise as the POAP logo. So if you show up to each week, you can collect all 16 teams. And the more that you collect, the more potential rewards you can unlock. We do have a deadline to submit the form. This one is 9 p.m. Eastern Standard on Sunday, June 19th. And the secret password is NEPA Week 2. NEPA is all caps and EPA Week 2. If you don't hear me, it is on the screen right in front of you. But we are going to get straight back into the game, possibly here, as we're going into the second initial joust of this game. Yeah, it was close. Close first round, all things considered. I think both teams were just getting you know, into their flow there. First first quarter feel-out process uh, and seeing if either team now on the, in this second quarter maybe finds a little bit of that slowdown game, gets those passes underway. Absolutely, and a nice bounce pass there from New Haven Ninjas over in the hands now of J. Fran. J. Fran looking not having numbers advantage, backing it out. Superfly with the disc now. I don't know if that was a miscommunication or a missed shot. But it results in a turnover into the hands of Frisco Dragons, now cleared out all the way into the New Haven Ninjas bubble with Geo in the area going for the three, but off the ring, unfortunately, picked up now by Superfly. Superfly sending a pass to Breezebow on station. Breezebow with some space and some time, getting the stacks there down all the way into 
the Frisco Dragons bubble, but a mishandling of the disc by their teammates results in a turnover. Baby True with the disc now on the floor, getting pressured, but able to get the pass off to Connor. Connor getting their pocket picked, but takes it back, going for the long three and just off the shield, unfortunately. Who put that there? Now in the hands of Breezebo. Breezebo sends a clear out, but Geo is there on the back line doing some work on the wall, getting pressured, goes for a bounce pass successfully over to Connor. Connor to Robbins on the ceiling. Down low to Baby True underneath the boot. Baby True backing it out, though. Another great example of disc control. This is so important in this game here. Connor on Bowtie looking to bait some defender. Sends a pass to Geo on the post. Geo getting stunned out and losing the disc. Now picked up by Canada looking for the clear out through Trench. And it is good. Makes it through the Frisco Dragon defender there on the back line. Jay Fran almost getting a hand on it. I don't know if it was a headbutt or a hand, but that doesn't matter because now... Uh, Baby True picks it up, goes for the clear, taking some bounces before hitting Bubble, but the stacks from New Haven Ninjas are able to get their first Superfly with the disc on the floor, juking around, looking for the lane, is able to get a pass off to Jay Fran. Jay Fran before the tunnel, sending a pass back over to Superfly, and Superfly through the mid of the arena, all the way into the Frisco Dragons Bubble with stacks in the area, but they overshoot the disc, unfortunately, a big stun by Breezebo and a pickup. Sends the disc back onto the back line where Jayfran is on the floor looking to get away from the defenders. Pull out some possibly. Sends a pass high to Superfly on the shoulder. But Superfly gets his pocket picked by Robbins. Robbins clears the disc out through the top of the arena. Now, oh, Superfly again getting their pocket picked by Robbins. Robbins on fire with these steals looking for their teammate but does not connect successfully. Unfortunately, Baby True was able to get a hand on it but... Shortly getting stunned out after that. Superfly with the long shot. Not successful, though. Another shot by Canada. Not successful. Jay Fran picks it up, looking to possibly back it out. Slow down the play. A pass over to Breezebo on the floor. Breezebo looking for the goal, but another missed shot by New Haven Ninjas. New Haven Ninjas are going to have to make these connect if they want to get points on the board here. With the disc now is Geo. Geo over to Connor on the floor. Superfly in goal. And a big stop there from Superfly. The clear out not good, but a teammate possibly in the area able to get a hand on it. Nope. Connor says not today. Picks up the disc over to Geo. Geo break checking, looking for their teammate. And the pass doesn't quite make it there, unfortunately. But Robin's doing work all over the arena, able to pick it up, backing away, drawing out a defender. Giving their team numbers advantage, sends a pass over to Connor. Connor approaching fringe of bubble, break checks again, not working out for them. The Frisco Dragons break checks are working against them at this point in time. Jay Fran able to get a clear out with a teammate in the area, but the overshot of the disc. Jay Fran cleans up his own mess though. That's okay on the floor now, going around boot and into the goal for a long three. And a long time coming, three minutes and 35 seconds since the last score. That, that was an eternity and a half. We had so many near makes that just dinged off the post or these near passes that miss. A couple of C's plays, as chat pointed out, too, as, as well. Going for those break checks, going for the headbutts, things like that. Uh, all kinds of chaos here. But let's see now. Usually, as I say, after those long, long goals, the next one usually comes a lot quicker. Uh, so here we go. Are you caster cursing this like you, we were just talking about? 50-50. 50 50-50. 50-50. That's all right. <laughs> Breezebo. Robin's losing a hand on the disc. Breezebo getting a slap out now in the Frisco Dragon zone, bouncing around in the high popcorn area or high trap, but Robin's able to get a hand on it again. A little bit of pressure there in the tunnel in front of him, looking for a lane. Passes over to Connor across the arena. Connor up high to Baby True on the wall. Baby True flipped upside down looking for their teammate. The pass doesn't connect, but that's okay. Robbins again on that back line doing work, looking for the bounce shot and makes it for three points for the Frisco Dragons. See, I count that as a lot quicker. I mean, a lot quicker than three, three and a half minutes. That time finding the mark, Robbins uh, making, making it 12 to eight on the lead and five points for Robbins thus far. Uh, so there you go. It, it's still very close, all things considered. And uh, Superfly now on the Joust here. Passes over to Jay Fran. Jay Fran to Canada. Canada sending up high to Superfly again in the middle of the arena. Crossing over Double D. Now near Station. Jukes around a little bit to get around Baby True. Sends a pass down to Jay Fran on the floor. Jay Fran two defenders 
on them looking to pull away create some space possibly pull out a defender we do have quite a few outside of bubble now crossing over bowtie sends a pass down low to j fran on the floor outside of bubble j fran doing the same great patient play here coming in from new haven ninjas not giving into the scoreboard uh, pass over to superfly superfly to canada cutting and into the goal for two points they are now only down by two there you go so Again, three and a half minutes, a couple goals ago, then 50 seconds, then 38. So now both teams a little bit more settled into their groove as we end, end this half. That was a beautiful uh, series of passing plays executed there near and inside that bubble uh, to get them a fundamentally sound and efficient goal. Absolutely. And I don't know if I go a cast without talking about mentality in the game and how important it truly is. But a big kudos there to New Haven Ninjas not giving into the pressure of feeling forced to play quickly in order to get points on the board when you're at a deficit and the clock is still counting down. So definitely a great job done there by New Haven Ninjas not giving into the pressure, keeping a great mentality and not relying on Hail Mary plays. Um, with the disc now is Baby True on the floor. Baby True sending a clear through the mid of the arena, bouncing around now in the high trap, picked up by Jay Fran. Jay Fran, a little bit of clumping going on in the arena. Everyone's in the same place. Uh, the disc ends up in the hands of Geo. Now in the hands of Robin, looking at a potentially open goal, but the goalie does get back. Connor with the, I don't know if it was a dunk. It looked like it was a dunk shot from not too far away. One meter, there it is, basically a dunk. Uh, but a great job there by Frisco Dragons. Now again up by four. Yeah, uh, beautifully done. Kind of a show and go. Uh, and then down and over on the dunk there from Connor. Robins the assists also. Five points and two assists. So starting to pick up heat and call, uh, call him Red Robins, in fact. Just making sure yeah. to get on the points and the assists. I like it. I like it too, indeed. And they're looking at an open goal here. Breezebo with the long three. He does not miss those putting their team only down by one. This is a one point game, 20 seconds left in this quarter, but we do have two more left. This is still anyone's game and a great job there by the New Haven Ninjas with a quick relay play. Absolutely, not a lot of time left to expend, so it's gonna be a quick relay joust down the floor. They do execute it uh, actually very well, at least on the first pass, but not quite on the mark. And that will be uh, the half queen. That is the half indeed, and we will be right back after a quick word from our sponsors. This summer, dinosaurs are in our world. Pet dinosaur? Don't worry, I'll take care of you. Good evening, we are back and this halftime report is brought to you by Big St. Charles Motorsports. Um, we do want to let you guys know that NEPA is issuing NFTs as a way to reward the community. So anyone who wants to claim one of these forms can go to www.nepavrpro.com forward slash NFT. They're free to claim. All you have to do is fill out the form. Um, and there is a ton of cool prizes that are super awesome. The last person to win the uh, first prize got a trip for two to the next NEPA Charity Cup. So you definitely want to go ahead, head over to the website, uh, fill out your form, and Pally is with me in the booth. He's going to give you the rundown right now. I don't know what that means, but it sounded official. So, Pally, what you got for us? 
Well, uh, I'm gonna give you the sit down right now in my chair, oh, but maybe I a little rundown. I mean, <laughs> little rundown later. You can run in your chair. I, I just did, it. and something so something broke. I don't know if you heard. <laughs> Said I'm gonna, you can run in your chair, and then something fell behind me over yonder. Anyway. Okay. So don't uh, run okay. in your chair. Definitely don't run in your chair. Don't break anything. No, it, it, it was a sign. It was saying, don't run in your chair. You're going to break the chair and yourself, door. Uh, but anyways, breaking down this door, at least breaking on, down the stats. Uh, I mean, basically, the first quarter, a lot of chaos. Second quarter, a lot of chaos, too. The times where we saw the scoring uh, come a lot of the times was uh, after uh, some of the, you know, the, the nice passing plays that we saw. Like you mentioned, the slowdown for the ninjas uh, a couple yeah. of times. I like the fact that, you know, for a little bit there, they're kind of losing some steam and, and looking a little a bit out of order. But then they were able to uh, ultimately get some crucial saves there to keep the game close. I mean, three apiece for Superfly and Canada, which, as I mentioned, oh, Canada, it's what he, what he does. Uh, another one of those really longtime veteran players who's who was, again, Great at goalkeeping before there were very many people who were great at goalkeeping at all. Like you can count them on only a couple hands. Uh, so years later, he's just he's doing what he's doing. So great to see Canada in the game. Uh, and Superfly matching him with the three saves as mentioned. Over on the other side though, again, uh, Robbins, shout out for the active hands, both defensively with steals, uh, getting the assists offensively, and then also getting the team high five points. But uh, that said, everyone getting in on the board. Uh, Baby True with a few points and a few assists as well. So I do like, the again, the fact that it's multiple people getting involved here. And I uh, think end of the day, you know, after that, that first half, I'm really curious just to see how each team adjusts a bit and, and seeing if they're okay with this really fast, you know, constantly clashing pace or uh, if, if either team is going to attempt to uh, get some of those more triangle-like plays like we saw in the last game. Um, you know, uh, no no meta is better by its very definition. It's just sometimes it's also what works team to team, roster to roster. Absolutely, it's whatever clicks and flows with your team. Um, I, I do want to point out we had some ridiculous bounce passes coming in from the New Haven Ninjas, and that resulted in some good goals. Um, mm. But on the Frisco Dragons, and Robbins is doing work on the back line there anytime the disc goes loose after a clear it's oftentimes back in the hands of robins giving their team an opportunity to get a look on bubble again so kudos to both teams setting up in bubble and then also just making sure that you've got a great backliner in there robins doing an incredible job for sure yeah and as a uh, chat wants to point out there uh, our co-co-casters trentic breezebo with 42 stuns that's something else <laughs> Uh, our Shea co Bob, co casters our co co casters that's co -co. that's 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 delicious uh but yeah breeze bow with the breeze co the breeze coco either way he go goes for the 42 that's a huge number actually and it's only 16 minute of plays i'm not sure uh, i'm not going to attempt to math it out in my own head but that is actually an incredible stun per minute rate uh right up there with the likes of gill and whatnot but that's that's something to watch out for. Not, not only that, six points too. So it's not as if he's just hanging around in the back line punching faces. He's also getting in the front for some scores. That's uh, pretty impressive. Yeah, it is a difficult job to be a bruiser that does benefit the team. We are into the initial joust of this third quarter of the match here, the last AAA match of tonight. We will move over into pro series matches again. Ooh, a shot from Canada just off the mark. Unfortunately, the disc is now loose, but picked up by Breezebo on the back line. Breezebo over to Jay Fran on the floor. Jay Fran looking for Superfly on the wall. Superfly looking for the cut, but it does not connect. Jay Fran able to get a hand on it for a minute, but stunned out by Baby True and cleared out through the arena into the New Haven Ninjas bubble. New Haven Ninjas there first. Superfly getting a hand on the disc, looking for the clear, but Baby True on the back line doing work on the wedge now looking to bounce between the floor possibly pa draw out some defenders giving their team time to set up in the bubble not too much uh bite here though from the new haven ninjas to push out a bubble and as i say that breeze bow makes me eat my words and moves up looking to get in between that lane there superfly getting a hand on geo but not able to get the stun off geo getting the disc over to baby true baby true sending it up high to uh robin's on the ceiling robin's going for the goal but just off the post 
Everyone overshooting the disc, but JFran getting a hand on it, looking to send a clear, but it uh, ends up in the ceiling with the Frisco Ninjas, or Frisco Dragons, I apologize, in the area, now in the hands of Canada, doing a little bit of uh, swirly whirlies on the floor, looking for the clear, does not quite make it, but JFran there to clean up the mess, over to Superfly, Superfly sending in a shot that is low and wide, unfortunately, now picked up by Robbins, cleared out through the top of the arena, bouncing around towards the uh, trench area. Geo is there with an open goal look and he does not make it but Robbins is there to clean up and put two points on the board for the Frisco Dragons. And uh, nicely gathered off the bounce there. Was, both teams got some good looks at the goals just couldn't capitalize on the initial ones but it's not about the mistakes for every team uh, everywhere will make them. It's just it's about how you recover. It's how you rebound. It's how you space so you can get those rebounds and putting yourself in position just like Robbins has been doing, not just on that play, but a lot of these plays here today. Yeah, absolutely. Again, Robbins on that back line, putting in work over to Connor. Connor looking at an open three and miss or not missing it, rather putting it in the goal for three more points for the Frisco Dragons on a little bit of a run. We are going to have to see the New Haven Ninjas pick up the pace here and stop leaving the goal open for New Haven Ninjas, y'all want to get back there with a disc advantage. Now is New Haven Ninjas out of the gate is Superfly with the disc sending a pass over to uh, Canada in the tunnel who gets stunned out by Baby True. Baby True over to Connor. Connor with a goalie in the goal sends a pass to Baby True. Baby True juking around on the shoulder looking for the cut to Robbins or Jay Fran. I'm sorry. And into the goal for two points. Well, got the old oh, pow I'm power lying, through. I'm lying. Jay Fran got a hand on the disc is what happens. It was in the hands of Robin. Jay, Jay Fran got a hand in goal, but the game said that uh, that wasn't enough. Not a big enough piece of the disc in order to stop it. Yeah, shot it with so much fire. Just insisted it had to go in. Unfortunate <laughs> on that end of things, but 21 to 13. Now we've seen the ninjas in here in this kind of territory in the first half where they were able to come back after being down by uh, multiple goals, but... Uh, definitely not a position that they'd love to be in here starting the second half. Yeah, absolutely. And definitely not the result they wanted as Canada going for the long three, but taking a hit off of Geo with some awkward bounces. But Jay Fran able to recover the disc. Canada now with it on the wall, sending a pass down low to Breezebo. Under gold, Breezebo back over to Jay Fran on the shield, going in for two points for the New Haven Ninjas. And that is what they needed. Yeah, absolutely. That was executed so well. Uh, look at that. Everyone on blue, everyone on Ninjas, Driving into the bubble initially to co collapse the defense essentially into a singularity inside the goal and then finding the extra pass out quickly back in and into the goal on a bunch of cluster. That was very well done. Absolutely very well done indeed as the Frisco Dragons clear it out into the bubble of the New Haven Ninjas with Connor in the area picks it up and puts it in the goal for two points. Quick reaction only eight seconds so how about that clap back in an instant. Also, yeah. uh, Jusifer in the chat saying, 21 to 13, toughest lead in Echo. I beg to differ. I was down more yesterday. Anyways, back to you, Queen. <laughs> Superfly with the disc passes over to Jay Fran just at the beginning of Tunnel. Jay Fran, though, getting stunned out. Now the disc in the hands of Robbins. Robbins possibly going for a shot, but does not make it off of the uh, ceiling there. Picked up again by Connor, sent over to Robbins on Ghost. Robbins gets their pocket pick, though, by Breezebow. Breezebow looking for the send out as it gets stuck in the high trap area a little bit of chaos everyone getting their hands on it but not quite in a way that it can stick superfly ultimately gets the slap off into the frisco dragons bubble but frisco dragons stack was there first with the disc now is baby true on the wall not too much pressure looking to take their time sends a pass high to connor connor sends it all the way into the bubble maybe possibly a shot but wide now in the hands of Jay Fran. Jay Fran sending a pass to Breezebo. Breezebo getting stunned out by Baby True. Baby True picks up the disc looking around goes to send a pass to Robbins but intercepted by Jay Fran. Jay Fran clearing it out all the way into the Frisco Dragons bubble with stacks in the area but they do overshoot the disc. Robbins getting a hand on it again passing over to Baby True on the ceiling. Baby True now on nest looking down low to Geo. Geo on the floor, getting some pressure by their defenders. Sends a, oh, an attempted clear out, but takes an unfortunate bounce into the hands of Breezebo. Breezebo looking for the long three, but is wide. Slapped out by the Frisco Dragons into the hands of Baby True. Baby True with some pressure there on the ceiling already. Goes for the pass, but Jay Fran in the lane said no and puts it in the goal for three points. 
If uh, Jay Franzel ain't gonna miss those too often, especially those open ones and even the ones that aren't so open. But hitting that left quarter uh, for the second time in a row here in this quarter. But Jay Franzel definitely one of those beast uh, beasts of an offensive player can verify uh, both firsthand and on the cast again. Just strikes with the best of them for sure. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think this is the second or third match I've casted with Jay Fran in, and Jay Fran is a force to be reckoned with. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, Baby True with the disc gets stunned out, though, by the New Haven Ninja staff. New Haven Ninja staff not able to get a hand on the disc, though, continues to uh, bounce around in the hands of the Frisco Dragons. Now, Geo with the disc driving goal, but a big stop there from Canada. Canada clears it out, bouncing around in the low trap area of the New Haven Ninjas picked up by Geo. Geo having pressure from two defenders sends pass to Baby True. Baby True over to uh to, to Suna on the ceiling. We do we this is a new player in the arena here for the Frisco Dragons. Tasuna on the ceiling looks for their teammate, but the pass doesn't quite connect. Cleaning up is Baby True floating up to ceiling, sending a pass back looking for the reset, but it is missed. Tasuna is able to pick it up and recover it. Send a pass or a clear down low, not quite sure what it was. Maybe a little bit of miscommunication, but Geo picks up the disc. Geo getting some pressure there, sending it past back. But again, the reset is lost, bouncing around in the tube now. Oh, overshot by both New Haven Ninja players now in the hands of Baby True. Baby True going for a shot again, but off now in the hands of Superfly. Superfly. Uh, with a defender in the area, but is able to get the clear off. Again, n another uh, bad clear, still bouncing around in their area. Picked up by Geo. Geo over to Tasuna underneath the boot, looking for the goal, but does not make it in. And with that, that is the end of this third quarter, and we will be right back after a quick word from our sponsors. Harley Davidson builds bikes that are meant to ride. There are vehicles your parents would recommend you drive. Then there are the motorcycles your crazy uncle who gave you fireworks for your birthday tells you to ride. You wouldn't want to let your uncle down, would you? If your need is speed, chrome, and custom paint, check out all of the new and pre-owned bikes at Greenmount Road Harley-Davidson in O'Fallon, Illinois. Don't let your uncle down. Get to Greenmount. Good evening. We told you it was quick. We're back and we want to let you guys know that for those of you looking to claim this week's PO app, head on over to www. Whoa, that's that's a mouthful. www.nepavrpro.com forward slash NFT to fill out the PO app claim form. In order to complete the form, you will need the secret password, which is NEPA week two. It's right in front of your face. If you're wondering how to spell it, the deadline to submit the claim form is 9 p.m. Eastern Standard on Sunday, June 19th. We are going straight back into the game. The last initial joust of this game, eight minutes on the clock with the Frisco Dragons up. Uh, by I don't know how much, because I don't math, five. Thank you, muted monster, my mathematician brain. Jay Fran getting the first hand on the disc. No one quite in the area just yet, but Connor able to get there looking for the clear, but Jay Fran says not today. Jay Fran on the wedge looking to send a bounce pass high to Superfly, Superfly back over to Canada. Canada juking around a little bit, back over to Superfly, Superfly on the nest, getting pressured, sends a back pass to Breezebo looking for the controlled play. Great job by the New Haven Ninjas. Pass over to Jay Fran. Jay Fran crossing over to Superfly. Superfly into the goal for two points. They are only down by three now. Yeah, this is uh, really turning out a lot like the, our last match. Uh, at this point, where we're in the fourth quarter. Now, this one lower scoring in comparison, but just equally as close, it seems like. So, again, kind of a, not to Caster's curse, it probably just did. But just a testament to what I was saying to begin this match about how the, the, the parity here between teams, both at Pro Series and AAA level because of those drafts, uh, it really kind of shine, it shines through in a lot of these matches, at least, uh, when you come down to the fourth quarter and it's still single digits. Absolutely. And what we just saw there, Jay Fran getting a big stun, causing a turnover, but the pass over to Superfly, unfortunately taking a bad bounce off a of bow tie. Now in the hands of Frisco Dragons, Connor with the disc. Uh, crossing over station, no one back in goal, but 
choosing to uh, send a pass that doesn't connect is now bouncing around in the high trap. Breezebo is there to pick it up, going for the clear into the Frisco Dragons bubble with players in the area. Jay Fran on the floor looking for their teammate. Superfly on the shield and into the goal for two points. They are now only down by one. Love it. And that's what we weren't seeing a ton of necessarily in the, the earlier half. Uh, but now in the second half, a couple of those plays they've provided. You know, great, great extra pass on the folded up defense inside the goal. And uh, that's as good as look as any. And they'll take it. They're within one and a lot of time here still left. Absolutely. And the clear all the way into the bubble from the Frisco Dragons with New Haven Ninja players in the bubble. Someone in goal. Geo picking up the disc, sending a pass over to Baby True. Baby True driving goal, but the shot is high just off the mark breezebo picking up the disc getting stunned out by geo geo sending a pass over to robbins robbins on the top cloud there looking to bait out a defender does so successfully sends a pass to geo geo getting some pressure by jay fran over to connor connor looking for the bounce shot but stopped breezebo sends a clear out it doesn't quite make it but superfly able to get a slap on the disc now over into the frisco dragons end of the arena superfly again with the disc looking to jay franz and jay fran into the goal four three points wow a series of great plays down that floor first it was canada uh letting the moose loose i guess with that good save in the goal <laughs> <laughs> then down the floor uh, with superfly on an assist jay franzel with a turnaround and a smooth as butter shot there uh, every part of that play was so beautiful absolutely connor with the disc now looking at a 1v1 but a stop there <laughs> from the new haven ninjas i'm not quite sure who that was gonna guess canada but the clear ends up in the hands of robbins robbins taking their time sending a pass high over to baby true baby true on the ceiling now in the top trench looking for their teammate down low connor now with the disc on the wall sending it up high robbins on the ceiling robbins looking down low to geo geo getting stunned out though Connor able to recover the disc again over to Robbins on the ceiling. Robbins looking to take it in himself and does so off of the head of Canada. That's just dirty. Canada do, doing what he can do uh, in the goal and nearly getting the head butt, but it just went the wrong way right into the goal. But the, as I say that, look at that, 25, 25 added up and we're at a half century what does that mean no idea but i do know that this has been such a close game uh here in this late fourth quarter now and we are beginning to see a little bit of these chaotic plays coming from both teams now stepped on the rollout lots of back and forth in terms of possession but now geo with the disc on station taking their time putting the arena back into this slow controlled play a great job last time we saw geo do this geo walked it up when new haven ninjas defense did not bite what are they going to do this time we're not sure he's doing a great job at taking their time uh playing a little bit of a dance routine in the bow tie i suppose now between bow tie and the star geo finally baiting the defender breeze bow biting a pass over to baby true and baby true into the goal for two points that is uh the lead now from frisco dragons but new haven ninjas biting to exactly what the frisco dragons wanted as opposed to standing their ground um i'm not quite sure what happened there but that's all right new haven ninjas now with the joust advantage with the disc is superfly on the nest looking to bait that that defender does so successfully passes over to breezebo in the low trap breezebo getting pressured by robbins sends a pass to jfran jfran almost getting stunned out but able to get away with it now in the tunnel, looking around with a defender in front of them. Gets the pass off just before getting stunned. Superfly with the disc, sending pass down low to Breezebo. Breezebo looking for the goal, but not making it. Canada there to clean up, though, into the goal for two points, tying it back up. Might not be Captain Canada no more, but that is still my captain. That's an absolutely good recovery and shots. All of those ones, all those three points and... Uh, shots here, all the more important, and, and especially in these last couple of minutes. I mean, uh, it's clutch goals from here on out. It's a tied game. I mean, this, this is overtime territory now with only a couple minutes left. It is overtime territory, and I would love to see it personally. Um, but a fling into the bubble from Frisco Dragons resulting in a turnover, potentially another turnover, and it is now back into the hands of Robbins. Robbins on the high cloud. Geo moving down to Bowtie. Now over to Nugget. 
between Nugget and Bowtie pulling out defenders. That is again exactly what they wanted. We just saw them capitalize on that moment and doing it again successfully. Connor with two more points on the board from uh, for the Frisco Dragons. New Haven Ninjas are going to need to stop biting on that. Their defense is a wall when they stay in the bubble. Uh, Frisco Dragons now up by two with a minute and 18 seconds left on the clock and the joust advantage with the disc is Superfly on the nest sending a pass down low to Breezebow. Breezebow looking for the long pass towards the bubble but with no one in the area and no stacks ready Canada was a little bit high possibly just a pass off the mark Robbins with the disc over to Geo. Geo still in their end of the arena uh Taking their time. They are wasting the clock. They know they're up. But the oh. big steal by Breezebo. Breezebo losing it again over to Geo. Geo passing over to Robbins. Robbins looking for the clear into the bubble. Maybe a, a potential shot, but it does not go in. Stopped by Canada. Cleared out through tunnel. But baby true there on the back line to pick it up on the wedge. Looking to waste the clock again. A pass up, up high to Geo. Geo on the ceiling with Jay Friends pressuring it. A big steal there and an opportunity if they can get stacks together for the New Haven Ninjas. Jay Friend again with the leech and the shot but off the shield unfortunately now in the hands of Robbins. Robbins on the floor looking for the back Ooh. pass. It does not make it. Jay Friend able to get a good look at goal but does not get it in again. Still in the area almost in the hands of New Haven Ninjas but does not make it still Six seconds on the clock and an opportunity that is now gone as it is in the New Haven Ninjas bubble with Frisco Dragons players in the area. That is the end of the fourth quarter. This match does go to the New Haven Ninjas and very well played by both teams. Losing my mind there for a second. It was the most <laughs> silent, silent screams I've ever done. I, heard, I, I heard them happening while I was going through it and was like, mm -hmm. I feel the same way. That was kind of crazy. <laughs> I, I was biting my tongue, but my abs hurt from just, I was clenched up. That was, yes. oh man, two two or three opportunities at that goal. They were right there. They were oh, right yeah. there uh, with for the taking. That is a heartbreaker for the ninjas. So close to either a win or an OT. Uh, yeah. Definitely those moments that you both live for, but also sometimes die for. They, they can kill you when it doesn't work out, but make you feel yeah. on top of the mountain when it does. Oh, what a thriller. Those, when it does work, I, I am normally like, that's when you have me yelling in your ear as your teammate. That's when I'm screaming, let's go. Um, and oh, normally yeah. <laughs> no one knows this, but when I'm screaming, let's go, it happens inevitably every time I'm doing the running man in my headset. So in case you ever hear me <laughs> yell that, now you know what's going on, IRL. Um, but with that being what? said, it's the end of the fourth quarter, and that means it is time to name the player of the match brought to you by Holtz Hour Auto and Motorsports. Hallie, I'm gonna let you go first here. Uh, with well, that, I mean, I don't like to decide. Yeah, same. I mean, <laughs> that that match, whew, that was something else. I uh, again, I'll give credits this time, not miss it to Breezebo because 75 stuns is what he wound Ridiculous. up with in those 32 minutes. Pretty strong numbers, uh, suffice to say there, along with those six points. But uh, over on the winning squad, you know, for uh, the the dragons, no one dragging their feet at all. They were absolutely killing it there and clutched it up there in the end. Uh, you know, chaos aside in that first half, I, I saw some more comfortable plays there in that second half that did secure them ultimately the win. Uh, for me, baby true, I gotta love that stat line because I mean, second highest in points, but the lead in assists, the lead in stuns. Uh, definitely was, was just pulling some numbers. Uh, Robbins also, uh, uh, kind of shout out because it did uh, crash in part way, so I think we lost the stats for Robbins, but I know Robbins was yeah, putting up some did. big stats. So, with that said, shout out to Baby True. I still tentatively kind of want to give it to Robbins, even not knowing the full stat line, given That's that choice, Rob yeah. Robbins' play was pretty strong, I feel like, uh, for a lot, a lot of the, the moments where otherwise there was some chaos and struggling. Normally, it was Robbins who was coming through with a play, a steal, something to set up the next play that happened, as well as a bunch of assists. So that's my pick in a very long-winded way of saying. <laughs> uh, my pick, I agree with you 100%, is Robbins. Robbins, uh, like you said, doing a lot of work on the back line, but also all over the arena. Um, mm -hmm. But Robbins specifically, when the team, uh, when Frisco Dragons was um, starting to get chaotic in the bubble, Robbins was often able to get the disc and slow down the play style. Right. Um, 
giving them a good opportunity to capitalize on their look at goal. So I'm going to go ahead and say congratulations, Robins. You are the player of the match. Um, and congratulations to the Frisco Dragons for winning tonight's uh, last Triple A match for tonight. Again, we are going into the Pro Series matches. Um, so we will take a break. Pally, it was a pleasure to be in the booth with you again thank on you. cams and you production too. is Muted Monster. So make sure you say thank you to Muted Monster and to Focus for all the work that they do so that we can have these productions for you guys to watch. It is super fun to be here with you guys. And don't go anywhere because we're going to take a quick break. And then you'll have a little bit of a swapping seats for the casters and you'll have Pro Series matches. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Seven save as well. <laughs>